So we just got a Hughes Autoformer in the mail, and this is a power watchdog, basically going to be a surge protector, deals with all kinds of stuff. I don't know about electricity, but it's going to protect the entire electrical system in our RV, which is kind of cool. And uh, I'm going to hook it up and see what it does. <laughs> Holy cow, this thing is huge! So I was expecting something much smaller, uh, but... Uh, hey, listen, if this is what it takes to get the job done, then uh, I guess this is what it takes to get the job done. Let's open it up the rest of the way. There it is, look at that thing. So we're gonna hook this up, obviously. Uh, trailer end over here, into the power line over there. And then also we're gonna figure out a way that we can put this actually inside the trailer. Uh, because this is a very uh, important piece of equipment and also not inexpensive, then uh, we don't want to just hook it up outside our trailer at the park. Somebody might come by and take it off. We don't want that. So we're going to figure out a way to get this inside the trailer and we'll always be able to monitor it with the Bluetooth on our phone. So let's give it a whirl. So I downloaded the app on my phone. The next thing it's gonna do is there's a QR code right here on the device. So I'm going to click on the QR code, which it already found it. And I named it trailer and I wanna connect. Tells me right away, 370 watts energy 1.9 kilowatts and the voltage is 123 the amp is 3.1 okay so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the uh piece there okay push my cord back into my trailer all the way in this is a storage space underneath the bunk and then from there i could put the power unit there and just have the power unit stick out because we typically run an extension cord anyway. So the RV, the trailer cord will be in there, the power cord, the male end will stick out, and then I'll be able to run an extension from there to the post whenever I'm out of park. Okay, so some interesting news uh, underneath the bottom bunk there. I, I knew that it was, the section was divided between the power cord and the rest of the storage space. So I figure I'll just take this bit off and then I can just stick the um, Hughes Auto Transformer watchdog down there in the power section. Not quite as simple as I thought. So when I lifted up the board that was on that bottom bunk, ends up it's actually just strapping all the way along with a bottom board, like a double layer Technically, I'm not sure what you would call that, except it's in the way. So, gotta decide how I'm gonna get into that space. I might be able to go through the wall in the storage unit. Maybe. Okay, so here we are out in, oops, sorry. Here we are out in the storage unit. And you can kind of see, uh, back here is where the electrical cable is and then the side of this is just probably pretty easy to get through or not pretty easy to get through so one option is that basically I poke a hole here feed the power cord from the trailer out watchdog sits here then goes back through so that I can lock this storage door and then it would just be the watchdog dongle end that hangs out here, which I can connect to an extension to the power post. <sighs> Anybody have some ideas on this one? Okay, so with the help of a handy dandy X-Acto knife, I just went in there, cut a little bit about that wall board out, 
So I can see that that's the power cord now. Let's see that in there, okay. So I'm gonna pull that back through. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, this is the, the outside cord that I pushed through the hole. Uh, I'm gonna connect that to the power wash dog. this end of the power watch dog outside uh, and then whenever we hook up to shore power we'll just connect it basically directly to the power watch dog but only that portion will be sticking outside the wall so now you can see it looks just like a regular 30 amp adapter side note you need to know if your trailer is a 30 amp or a 50 amp because the power watch dog has both models you want to make sure that you get the proper one for your trailer so now it just looks like a 30 amp connection out here we just hook this up like we usually do to an extension to go to shore power. And that's it.